Uh, campaign speech for sure. Yeah, yeah. Um, but not a lot of him talking about what he's done. Uh, very different than his campaign speeches when he was in Ohio previously. He talked about expanding Medicare, expanding Medicaid, trillion dollar infrastructure bill, right. opiate crisis, talked about trying to take care of that. And in all instances, he's either went backwards or not delivered at all on any of those promises. Why do you get so many people in Youngstown? Youngstown's a great place, man, very welcoming. But it's <laughs> but a place that loves uh, economic message aimed at the people who live there, solidly well, middle class people. Clear. I mean, there's an arena of, of six or 7,000 people, so yep. he's going to pull six or 7,000 people. He's still Donald Trump. His, the energy he has behind his supporters is very high. But the reality of it is, at some point, you got to deliver. And he hasn't delivered in the first six months. And as I said, he made a lot of promises during the campaign. And I heard him make some big promises in this speech, too. He's going to open up the steel mills back up, and there's going to be all kinds of people working there. That's not the economy nowadays, Tucker. You know it and I know it. We have a billion dollar steel mill in Youngstown and there's about 400 people on a good year working so there. So what's, I mean, what exactly is the message that voters in your district are getting from the Democratic Party now? It's that you're <clears throat> disgusting, that you probably have opinions that we're embarrassed of. If you're white, you're quote, privileged, even if you're unemployed or make less than your dad did, which is really common. I mean, which think is a more effective message to your voters? I don't think I quite understand the question, but what Democrats are talking about is how we make investments in the economy to grow the economy. And whether right. that's straight infrastructure investments, making sure we redo our energy grid, redo broadband in the country, because those are jobs that actually cannot be outsourced because stuff's in the ground. The energy grid is in the ground, can't be outsourced. Broadband's in the ground, can't be outsourced. But also, that we're not a party that's hostile to business, that we are for uh, a simplified tax code. We are for small and mid-sized businesses making investments. We actually need those business people to take the risks to hire our people. I think that's, I agree with that. I mean, forever it's worth, I agree with that message. My point, and I probably didn't explain it very well to you, is I haven't heard that message from the Democratic Party in a long time. I didn't hear it from the Hillary campaign. I don't, I don't hear Nancy Pelosi, the leader of your party in the House, ever say anything like that. And I wonder if the party's really going to change and if Nancy Pelosi is the <laughs> one to lead it in the direction you think it needs to go. Well, you're hearing it from me and you're hearing it from a lot of other Democrats across the country. And I don't know if it's percolated itself up yet uh, to the national level. I think what happened on Monday was a good step in the right direction, finally talking about jobs, the economy. Uh, but we've got to continue to talk about how we grow the economy, how we're we can be business friendly and still be progressive because we need those folks to make the investments to hire our people. But at the same time, we've got to make investments that help grow the economy. And yes, that's an infrastructure. But do you think the same group of people who've been leading your party for the last generation who've pushed identity politics over an economic message, you know, electing Hillary Clinton, a rich Ivy League grad as a win for all women over like talking about people's jobs. Do you think those people can continue to lead your party in a new direction, why would they be able to do that? There are a lot of younger, newer people emerging in the party. I think of people like Hakeem Jeffries and Seth Moulton, uh, myself. There's a lot of good governors that are talking about a growth agenda. Democrats are not hostile to business. Now that message may so not have So why don't you take percolated. on Pelosi for leadership in your party? I did. No, I mean again. Oh, well, we're in the middle of an election cycle now. Right. We don't have elections for another year and a half. Well, yeah, I, but you've got to get I, this stuff. I, I really don't have any interest in doing that. I did it. I'm using my platform, being on a great show like yours, to uh, get this message out about there are Democrats out there that have a platform that are about growing the economy. Given all those people in that arena that yeah. just want a shot. They just want a chance to feed their family. I think that's right. We've that's got not been a message they've been hearing from you all, in my opinion. Well, we have the agenda to all make right. that happen. I, I run into more people in Youngstown and places I yep. travel. Sorry, I got to go. They I've say I made more money under Bill Clinton than any other president.